Shalom, shalom, beloved. It's me, Angel, another saint. Um, tonight, I'm going to be reading um, Exodus, Shabbat Shalom. I'm going to be reading um, out of um, another new Bible I, I bought today. Uh, this one's the complete... Jewish study Bible um it's so so um uh it's my first uh well, not my first but it's the first in a long time the first uh, study Bible I bought and um uh anyways um it's also um uh like super uh, friendly to, uh, you know, Jewish people, and, um, the chosen people, um, Israel, and, um, it ain't messy, like, <laughs> like some messianics, uh, that I've spoken to, uh, uh, speak about s Jews, and um i guess they believe in replacement theology and stuff um that's sad so so i don't talk to them anymore but um and then also some hebrew roots people um that uh are ugly to other uh people and uh it's kind of like, um, love is love, you know, but, uh, death is better than compromise as well, um, so, um, anyways, so I'm gonna be reading Exodus 6, Shemot 6, out of, um, the complete Jewish Bible, um, this is the one that, um, well, I don't know, but I know my my dream girl reads out of this one. I know I sabotage myself, but I don't care. I don't I don't want anybody. Anyways, here I go. So the complete Jewish Bible, Exodus six, Shemot six. Father, for your glory alone, Father. For your glory alone, always, Abba. In Yeshua's name, amen. So Adonai said to Moshe, Now you will see what I am going to do to Pharaoh. With a mighty hand, he will send them off. With force, he will drive them from the land. So, I don't want to say God, but... I'm just going to read what's written in this Bible. Um, so it uses the word, the name, the title, God. So here I go. Forgive me, beloved. Verse 2. God spoke to Moshe. He said to him, I am Adonai. I appeared to Abraham, Jitshak, and Yaakov as El Shaddai. Although I did not make myself known to them by my name, Jude He Vav He Adonai, also with them I established my covenant to give them the land of Canaan, the land where they wandered about and lived as foreigners. Moreover, I have heard the groaning of the people of Israel, whom the Egyptians are keeping in slavery. And I have remembered my covenant. Therefore say to the people of Israel, I am Adonai. I will free from you. I will free you from the forced labor of the Egyptians, rescue you from their oppression, and redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgment. I will take you as my people, and I will be your God. Then 
you will know that I am Adonai, your God, who freed you from the forced labor of the Egyptians. I will bring you into the land which I swore to give Avraham, Jitshak, and Yaakov. I will give it to you as your inheritance. I am Adonai. Moshe said this to the people of Yisrael, but they wouldn't listen to him because they were so discouraged and their slavery was so cruel. Adonai said to Moshe, Go in and tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to let the people of Yisrael leave his land. Moshe said to Adonai, Look, the people of Yisrael haven't listened to me, so how will Pharaoh listen to me? Poor speaker that I am. <sighs> That's how I feel, Moshe. But Adonai spoke to Moshe and Aharon and gave them orders concerning both the people of Israel and Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt. These were the heads of their families, the sons of Reuben. The firstborn of Israel were Hanok of Balu, Hetzron, and Carmi. These were the families of Reuben, the sons of Shimon, were Jemuel, Jamin, Ohad, Yakin, Zokar, and Shaul, the son of a Kinani woman. These were the families of Shimon. These are the names of the sons of Levi with their descendants, Gershon, Kat, and Merari. Levi lived to be a hundred and thirty-seven years old. The sons of Gershon were Livni and Shimi. With their families, the sons of Cat were Amram, Jitzar, Hebron, and Uziel. Cat lived to be 133 years old. The sons of Memri, Merari, were Makli and Mushi. These were the families of Levi with their descendants. Amram married Jokehaved, his father's sister, and she bore him Aharon and Moshe. Amram lived to be a hundred and thirty-seven years old. The sons of Jitzar, Jitz Ahar, were Korak, Nefeg, and Sikri. The sons of Uziel were Mishael, El Safan, and Sitri. Aharon married Elisheva, daughter of Aminadav, and sister of Nakshon, and she bore him Nadav Avihu. Elazar and Itamar. The sons of Korak were Asir, Elkana, and Aviasaf. These were the Korchi families. Elazar, the sons of Aharon, married one of the daughters of Putiel, and she bore him Pinkas, Phineas. These were the heads of the families of Levi, family by family. These are the Aharon and Moshe to whom Adonai said, Bring the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt, division by division. And who told Pharaoh king of Egypt to let the people of Israel leave Egypt? These are the same, Moshe and Aharon. On the day when Adonai spoke to Moshe in the land of Egypt, he said, I am Adonai. Tell Pharaoh, King of Egypt, everything I say to you. Moshe answered Adonai, Look, I'm such a poor speaker that Pharaoh won't listen to me. Beloved, that was Exodus 6. Um, Shemot 6. Out of the complete Jewish Bible. Shalom, shalom.